Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you've been uh, uh, watching my videos, I thank you for that. And if you've subscribed to my channel, I also thank you for that. I'm um, going to be painting some stained glass with some Vitrea 160. Um, it is a water-based paint and you can paint it right on the stained glass. And what we do is we take it and we bake it in the oven. I do believe it's at 160 Celsius, so you could look up what the Fahrenheit is that for that. Uh, I go, I'm going to take a fine liner and I'm just going to paint on some um, little fin details or texture to make the fish a little bit more exciting to see. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing up some of the cobalt blue with a little bit of black because I want it to stand out a little bit better on the blue glass. So I'm just going to mix that up and uh, do a little bit of um, fine line work and you'll see in a second what I mean. So it's going to be a little hard to see um, but I'm putting my brush down and lifting up gently and creating some long uh, squiggly line work. Hopefully you can see it in like the reflections of the camera. There you go, I can see that. And this is going to give my stained glass piece a little bit more interest when it's done. So this piece is a tropical fish that my plan is to do a big mural of fish and coral, maybe an octopus. And this is the very first fish that I've, I'm doing for this piece. So I'm going to make a bunch of different things, but different creatures, and then I'm going to incorporate them all into one big mural. At least that's the plan, so we'll see how far I get. And I'm going to be putting my mural out by my hot tub and make it a, an ocean reef near my hot tub. So piece by piece, I'll, I'll start getting this done. And then in my mural, I plan to incorporate other things such as shells and starfish and different things. Big idea, so we'll see how far I get with it. So it's going to be um, magically... Uh, the painting is going to be magically completed in about a second. Because I lost some of the video footage. Let's speed this up a little bit. So you kind of get the idea on what I'm doing. cleaning off some of the paint off my brush, keeping it clean. It is water-based and it does clean up very easily. So there, magically, I did all the line work. It's all done. So now we're going to move on to, before I did this, I did bake it the glass on a cookie sheet in my oven, which this paint is uh, safe to cook in your oven that you cook your food with because it's non-toxic. So I did bake that and now it has become permanent and it's dishwasher, supposedly dishwasher safe. So moving forward, we're starting to do some of the foiling and I have my trusty handy table foiler, which I love. And 
I'm going to put the foil on all the pieces now and just checking to make sure that the foil is uniform all the way around and if not you can fix that by going over it with another piece of foil but you want to make sure that both sides are even and at this point I'm just really putting the foil on and folding over the edges in the corners so this is just to give you an idea on how slow I go uh, to make sure that it's doing the right job or a good job you need to overlap by about a quarter of an inch and then again checking making sure that it's all folded over nice and neatly because it doesn't always happen by the machine so we'll pick up speed and we'll get through this um, those are very tiny pieces which are hard to do but not impossible So I hope this project will give you some ideas on what you can do with your glass work. You see I took a uh, flattened, what do they call them, half marbles, and I painted the fish eye on there. came out really realistic looking, really came out cool. Now the other thing you want to keep in mind when you do paint your pieces is to not go too far close to the edge because you don't want to cover it with your foiling. Not that it would affect your foiling, but it just, you know, would be covered up by your foiling if you go too close to the edges. So I'm sorry I didn't get footage of cutting the glass for this piece. Uh, I did not record it. But I do have other videos which I can put a link up at the top if you are interested in learning how to cut glass. So this piece I just overlapped the foiling because I didn't like the way it was sitting. Don't, rem uh, don't forget that your foiling is the base for your soldering and if your foiling isn't good your soldering is not going to turn out nice you have to have that foundation So I'm sorry it's been a while since I've been posting up any videos. I had to take a break from my my art room for a while. Um, and then I had to clean it up because it was such a mess. So I did manage to get all that done. And now it's winter and I'm able to get in there. I finished up um, an airbrush project that I needed to do. An ashtray for a friend for his... I don't know, I think it's an 8081 Pinto. Um, so I, I did that, and now I have another piece that I have to do, which is a glove box for another friend um, who has a classic um, car. So he wants me to paint a scene on his, on his um, glove box cover. So that I'll be doing next as well. In fact, I've got it sanded in, and it's been primed and ready to go. So 
so. Putting my fins together now, getting them all foiled up. It's starting to look more and more like my stained glass fish as I planned it. And I'm going to foil the eye now. I took it off screen so that I could uh, burnish the edges with the grinder a little bit so that the foil will stick good to it. As you can see, I was showing you the edges after they've been ground. I really like how the eye came out. really came out cool. Okay, so I have my foiling all completed. This is how you adjust the glass to your table. Put your piece on the flat surface and push it in. It should go in the middle of the roller, the, uh, the roller that the feeds the foil and by loosening or tightening the wing nut it raises or lowers the little disc and they come in different sizes for different size glass so if you change your width in your glass you do want to check that and make sure you can't always use the same disc for all your glass pieces So now that I've got the foiling all on there, you need to burnish it in order for it to really adhere to the glass. Make sure you do all the edges. You can use a Sharpie pen or, or pen like that or a pencil. They will work just, f just as well um, as the plastic tool I'm using here. So you want to burnish all of the edges and get kind of like a procedure going. You do all the edges first and then you do one side then you do the other side. And that way you don't miss anything. What I like to do, and I'm holding it up for you guys to see, but what I usually like to do is hold it down on the table and burnish the edges, you know, the sides of each piece with the tool. It goes pretty quickly, but this way it ensures that the foil is really glued to the glass. It's kind of important. So yeah, as you can see, I'm doing it on the table now. So I didn't like the edge there, so I'm going to take a piece of foil and go over that. So you can just take a piece and just line it up and go right over top of what you've got on there.
And then don't forget to burnish it. And then trim off any overlaps that you don't like. I'm not sure if you can hear my computer fan is making noise. I think it needs a drop of oil. I'm not sure if you can hear it in the video or not. So I'm not going to sit and bore you with the foiling of this, but um, we will do go through fast forward. So sit back and relax and enjoy watching it. So if you like this video, please remember to hit the like button. It helps me with the uh, YouTube algorithms. And uh, make a comment, or if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. And I'm fixing the little break in the foil there. Didn't like that. So I'm going to cut this video um, at the finished point when we're all done with the burnishing and then I will have the rest of the process, the soldering of the fish and putting it together in part two um, so that you can see the final version of the fish. So we are at the final stage of burnishing and foiling and painting. So here we go. Part two is next. Thank you.